Well, leaders of California's high-speed rail project say the recently passed federal infrastructure pa package could help a lot. The Bullet Trains Authority Board met today. 17's Ashley Zavala explains the latest update on the project. It's a huge, huge development for California and I think for this project going forward. High-Speed Rail Authority CEO Brian Kelly says the recently signed federal infrastructure package will provide big opportunity for the state and country's largest rail project. For the federal government to step up and put this level of funding on the table is truly historic. The leader of the state's $100 billion and counting bullet train project noted the legislation provides about $58 billion over six different programs up for grabs. Kelly says the rail authority is ready to compete for some of that money, but did not say an exact amount Thursday. These are all places uh, where we have uh, applied for funding in the past, been awarded some funds in the past, and it will intend to compete in those going forward. The CEO's optimistic outlook came at the High Speed Rail Authority Board's monthly meeting. They there, board members also got an update on construction. Significant work has been completed on several structures on the 119-mile Central Valley track between Bakersfield and Madera. Project leaders are aiming to compete that segment by the end of next year, with planning underway to connect San Francisco and Los Angeles by 2030. Thursday's updates were welcome news to the board, which has seen constant delays and cost overruns for the project. We, we can't continue moving forward, giving deadlines that we can't meet or costs that, that keep escalating. We, we have to be more clear, as clear as we can in moving this project forward. Project leaders are looking forward to more federal action on President Biden's Build Back Better plan, which they say could provide even more financial opportunity for the bullet train. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.